Hi folks, thanks for tuning in. If anyone's interested in wondering how you go about um, importing raw images, I'm going to show you a little tutorial on how on how I do it with my uh, Nikon D3 using the Nikon Electronic Format uh, Images, or commonly known as NEFs, Nikon NEFs. Basically, it's um, it's Nikon's format of raw. <coughs> Excuse me. So basically, I've got a couple of programs where I'm going to use. I'm going to use Capture NX2, and here you can see the images that are captured on the D3. Um, as you can see, they're all tagged as NAF, which is, as I said, stands for Nikon Electronic Format. These are the actual raw images taken in camera. Obviously, the camera is set to raw. And I want to use these two programs here, View NX2 and Capture NX2. And this is the, um, the, the sort of the template, if you like. The, the desktop template of the View NX. It's a nice bit of kit uh, for viewing your your raw images. Um, they come straight into this um, this this sort of raw viewing program, no problem at all. And you can see you've got um, the images that I've taken on the day. And we're going to go right down to I think it's image thirty, which is what I'm going to use. And if you have a look, you've got the tools on the right for making quick adjustments. And um, but we're not going to really muck about with them. So basically, that's the image that I'm going to be working on. As I say, these, these, um, but what I'm going to show you to do is, is I'm going to show you how to, how to sharpen the image as well once it's transferred over. We can use this little slider tool here, as you can see, it goes up to about 10% 10, 10 or thereabouts. Um, but it's not really a technique that I like to use. Um, as you can see, that gives you a little bit of sharpening, but it's not the best method of going about doing it. So I'm going to take that off there. So basically, I've got the image selected that I want to use. And if you have a look up the top of here, there's Capture NX2. Um, so basically, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on Capture NX2. And that will import the raw image over to um, Capture MX2. Now, Capture NX2 is a great bit of software. It's developed by uh, Nick Software for Nikon. And it's the same people who make I think is silver light for the uh, and the color effects uh, pro 4 and um, so basically it's a nice bit of kit here you've got on the left side you've got your browser and your files which I don't normally use I just like to import them straight in you've got one or two features up on the left hand side here on the right you've got your tools um, and, and your, uh, for your for your selections your histogram um, your, your levels your curve tool and all that and you've got your zoom um, we do have some tools up on the right hand side as well. So here we are, we have the image here. And what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to show you how to uh, use the um, the sharpen tool or high pass filter. There's two different ones. There's an unsharp mask and there's a, a high pass filter. And I'll show you how to use them both. But if I'm using just the unsharp mask, I make sure that the, um, the threshold is set to zero. The radius is set to five pixels. And if I'm sharpening this way, it is a good way of sharpening in the next two, is I usually have it between 27 and 35% sharpness, usually around about the 27% mark. And that's just one way of, of sharpening the image up in the raw converter. Um, it gives some nice, great detail. And this 90% of the time, 95% of the time, I'll use my images like that. So I'll just undo that and we'll go to the high pass filter which I'm going to click there so we click on the high pass and as you can see you've, you've noticed that the image has gone grey there's a little bit of uh, outline detail there but what we're going to do is we're just going to increase that detail with the high pass filter and there you can see the the selection that was made the high pass filter there and <coughs> what we're going to do is we're going to click on opacity <coughs> excuse me so there we have our high pass settings and what i want to do is i'm just going to go to overlay and as you click on overlay it brings the image back as you can see and once it brings the image back if you look here on the right you can see how it's added i think it's one pixel of sharpness and we can reduce the opacity of that effect I'll just get that off the screen a moment we can reduce the opacity of that effect uh, to see how we're doing on the sharpness with that one pixel. If you're not happy with the one pixel, we can increase it. Um, we can increase it up or down if you think one pixel is too much. 
drop it down a bit. Um, if, equally, if you think it hasn't given enough sharpness to your image that you like, um, then just increase it to maybe two pixels. And then just using this slider here, the opacity slider, you can see how it affects the, um, the selection by giving you the a sort of a real-time view of how it looks with that sharpness on and off. So you got a good bit of um, sort of adjustment there by giving you that um, sort of live view of how the sharpness looks. And basically all we do is zoom in there and just have a look about the image, see if you like the way that the image looks. See what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to isolate all these little water droplets here um, to make them nice and sharp. Because as you can see, the depth of field is quite shallow on this. As the, If you look in the background, uh, the water is out of focus. So it's these little droplets of water in the foreground and of course the actual subject itself um, that I want to try and um, just sort of pull out a bit more detail. And I think that settings there worked quite happily for me. Um, you know, you, they, again, if you toggle on, toggle off, toggle on, toggle off, you can see the adjustment. And uh, What I'm going to do is I'm going to save once you've done the image save as now when you save as it gives you the option to save as uh, whatever file type you like I'm just setting the location of where I want this image to go but as you can see uh, th there's our choice it's we don't want to be saving as an F because it's already an F the other two options is JPEG and TIFF now I don't want to save as a JPEG because it's a it's a lossy file so I'm going to save it as a TIFF and um, and that way, saving it as a TIFF, um, if I want to work on it afterwards, I can open it and close it and make adjustments on it without it losing any great deal of quality. Um, you can't do that with JPEG. Once you start adjusting the image and you open, close it, and open it again, start adjusting it, it tends to lose a lot of quality. So I'm going to go on 16-bit, and I'm going to go to embed that profile. Okay. Uh, I'm saving it as RGB, 16-bit with no compression so I don't want it I don't want it to be a compressed TIFF and I click save okay and there it saved the image and that's basically how you open a raw image into your raw converter software using the Nikon D3 capture NX2 and view NX2 um, there's some simple other little this picture utility you can use this which is a uh, added onto the um, view nx2 and basically you can change the settings basically I recorded this image in vivid and you can change them back to neutral grayscale standard or whatever to give different um, different looks to the image uh, I don't tend to use this um, although it can come in handy at times you can you know you can do a manual override on it and make all the settings there yourself you know but it's something that I've tend not to muck about with but it's there if people need it, you know, if they want to make the adjustments in View NX2, there is one or two adjustments that you can make. Um, and I'm just playing about with the settings here, just to show you. Um, but it's up to you whether you want to use this or not. As I say, it's something that I never use. But uh, just to let you know that it is there in View NX2. So that's pretty much it. So I hope you've enjoyed watching and I'll catch you next time.